Yes, I'm sulking that my poison wasn't enough to do it. I'm feeling... A li I'm feeling like the job is not yet done. I am feeling like I should... Stop... Worrying about having what is essentially decapitation envy and start focusing on, you know, staying alive and finding what we came for. The storm is still raging outside, which is actually a good thing. It may be wet and soggy, but it also provides some cover from the dragons that are out there. We are going to have to sneak out of here all the way to the horses, and then, with the horses, sneak all the way back to civilization. A bit of rain will probably help, even though it will probably make us a little cranky. The good news is we found what we came for, the Dawnguard Rune Hammer. Bashing places a rune on a nearby surface. The rune explodes for 50 points of fire damage when enemies come near. That is interesting. That is also enormous. Okay, am I? Oh. Okay, if I fall over, just just help me up. Right, so bashing a surface will place a whoa a rune that triggers when enemies go near it. Can we put it on? walls. Yes, we can. And the other one disappears. That could be really useful. Can we detonate with... Okay, step back. Step back. It, it doesn't... This place smells like bandit pee. Dude, that is not a good image. Thank you for that. Okay, no, it doesn't it doesn't activate when we get close. But we can still detonate it with All right. You know that could be useful. Although there is absolutely no way I'm carrying away that, carrying around that enormous hammer. Oh, before we leave, there wasn't an alchemy bench, was there? I'm pretty sure there wasn't. It would be nice to refresh my resists before running out there. But I'm pretty sure, no, there was nothing in here either. Just a chest and the secret way out of the treasure room that involves a couple of meter drop. Did we? No, we didn't. We didn't. I did not remember. Died with his hand in a basket. No, I'm not going to make any, you know, racist stereotypes about Kaji. It's just funny that he died with his hand in a basket, okay? That's, you know what, let's, let's forget it. We're, oh, we're heading out into the rain, the dragon-filled, rain-filled it's probably night by now, isn't it? Yes. Okay, let's just let's just do this. And apparently night and rain were not enough. So don't push me, dude. Do not push me. Okay. Is the other dragon 
up and about. Honestly, when we came here, I could have sworn I saw another dragon. Whoa, okay. Okay, it looks like the dragon that's up this mountain somewhere has gone to bed. A sensible dragon. I am damp. All right, let's... If that dragon's... I'm pretty... No, I'm pretty sure the only way to get... De Do you think we could get down there? I don't think so. I think that's going to involve a massive drop. We would have seen something if there was a way up. The only way up, I think, was through here. And I'm fairly sure that goes straight through the mountain. And the dragon may have decided to go to bed. But, well, I'm not bringing in room service. Oh. Okay. Yeah, I am drenched to the skin. But, oh, this is the worst point. This is the point where the dragon will be looking right at us at various points in its flight. Let's just hug the rocks. Oh. a bit. Right, okay. Oddly enough, he doesn't seem interested in... Really? Does nothing bother you? It's raining, it's the middle of the night, there's a dragon that's been there for... You don't think this guy's got... Oh God, where's Inigo? I always lose him in mountains, you know what? I think I'm just gonna move before... Before... He does something stupid, like, you know... Oh God, I feel so exposed. Just don't want to move when he's looking. Okay, I don't know why I'm trying to avoid getting wetter when I don't actually think it's possible. Okay. All right, well, if he hasn't seen me at this point, I'm reasonably sure he's not going to see me as long as I stay low. I mean, I've been moving several times. God, now I'm starting to wonder. Do... Oh. Oh, yeah. I'm also wondering about that. Okay, just when I was thinking maybe I was out of the... Oh, I'm going to freeze to death again. Well, obviously not again. I have... Oh. There's a dragon nearby. Don't you have some sort of, I don't know, survival instinct? Okay, I think we're past him. And honestly, at this point, I'm, I'm not saying I'm more scared of the cold than the dragon, because, because I'm not. But I am. Was that... Was that the shrine? Oh, God. It's the shrine. I don't suppose I can warm up on, on this. No, this is about the... Where are... There you are. There you are. Okay, you know what? Let's just... Oh, in we go. Find Sweet Roll and can join us because I have lost him. All right, so I think I hear. I think I hear. I think I hear him. 
the ground begins to steam as the rain passes. Okay, so. Civilization near, oh, it's, it's more, I was going to say, we got a choice. We could travel to Morthol and then through Morthol to Winstad Manor and take the carriage from there. But that's probably not much shorter than all the way to, no, it's a lot shorter. Right, we're going to Morthol. Partly because Winstead Manor is slightly closer, but mostly because I don't think I'll actually make it to Solitude before I freeze. Whereas, at least with Morthal, we could go into the inn and... Oh, God. Let's just go get warm and then worry about what to do next once we've ensured there's going to be a next. Okay. Did that... Was that Fallion or was that one of those... Okay, you know what? Stop worrying, stop worrying. Kind of looked a bit like Fallium, but... Finally, someone comes in. Oh. Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. Uh, I've got nothing but time these days. Uh, oh, God, I forgot to put my... Oh, I'm not totally sure the uh, fur cloak would have been perfect for that weather. Oh, fire. No. No, I can't do it. I, I did... You can try and stop me, but it's not going to work. Yes, it's wet and cold outside. Yes, it's dark. Yes, we're going to have to ride through a marsh. But, oh, it's not even raining anymore. See, it's not even... I'll tell you what, though. It's probably cold. Um, but, no, I'm not staying in those beds, okay? I'm just, I'm not doing it. We've got a perfectly good house, not so far away. We're going there. Increase warmth rating by 20. That's probably rather nice. You can swim in frigid water 50% longer and it no longer drains your stamina. Yeah, that's nice, but why would I want to do that? I mean... Surely not swimming, mind you, sometimes you accidentally swim in the water, don't you? Exposure increased from frost spells and attacks is reduced by 25%. Oh, right, that's not actually making you frost resistant. That just means you don't feel the chill as much. Okay, you know what? Increase warmth rating by... I'm pretty warm as it is, but can I just... About endurance. The art of withstanding the elements, survive longer in cold and wet conditions and make better use of worn equipment. Spend time in the rain or in cold climates to earn... Yeah, okay. But I can't... No, I've got to start here. Right. Okay. So I can now... I am now a little warmer. Ooh. And I can also make it so that if I get attacked by frost, I don't feel the chill as much. Yeah, I'm liking that idea. What else was that? Well insulated. Increase the warmth of all worn equipment by 25% if wearing armor or clothing in every slot. Which is, yeah, okay. No, that sounds like a really good idea. I know how to wrap up warm. Once per day, kneel and enter a meditative state which prevents your exposure from rising above 67% in any... Oh. Basically, so I can stand still and not freeze to death, but I'm still going to be... I mean, what? And then just hang around until daybreak arrives? I'm... I'm Glacial swimmer, wind windbreaker. Increase the coverage of worn equipment by 25% if wearing armor. Oh, that means I don't get as wet. Okay, yes. I'm liking the sounds of that. So, I need to... You can swim in frigid water 100% longer and it no longer drains stamina. Okay, that's... I still, still think terrible idea, but 
I'm well insulated. Windbreaker, that is, yeah, definitely. Okay. So I should now be a lot more insulated and warm. Three, oh yes, yes. Yes, this will hopefully make life a little What, sorry, no, I was just, I was daydreaming, I was staring into the fire and thinking how nice it is to be warm and reflecting on how horrible it was last night when we were in the dark, cold and wet. And I gotta say, this house is the coldest house we've got, which feels weird. And I know it shouldn't, because it's right on the coast exposed to the sea it just for some odd reason i always feel like you know yeah it's the only house where we have to actually have a fire outside to stay warm now we're off. I, i'm thinking we go to solitude first just drop a few things off plus i am really low on a lot of potions so let's do that yeah do I, should I put this out? Yes, I think so. Because it's going to burn for six hours, almost. Okay. It's out. Yeah, now it's going to get cold. On my way. Let's... Uh, I have pins and oh, God, I'm hungry. I spent that much time... Oh, I forgot to ask. I forgot to ask. But I am here for Sorry, you. I was so focused on the warm fire. I was so focused on it. Okay. Let us see what we have. Um, I'm checking the sweet roll. You've got loads of them. What's next? I'm just going to leave the fireplace here, you know. I actually think it's it's kind of a nice idea. It does give us somewhere to have breakfast without freezing. You know, because it is. It's, it's just insanely cold. Okay, right. We'll just... Where do you want to go? We would like to go to... S Whoa, S so I could have gone to Rorikstead had I gone to my... How? I should always check here first. Or one of them. Old Roldan. Believe it or not, there is something for the museum there. There is actually something for the museum. Eh, uh, where is it? There, old Roldan. And that, oh, you know what? I have definitely got to try and memorize some of these places. Old Roldan, Rorikstead, um, Dragon Bridge, Darkwater Crossing. I do want to return to the Dawn Guard and uh, deliver this hammer. Well, actually, what I want to do is put the hammer up on a display, but for some reason, I feel reluctant to do that. Maybe it's the fear that. RK is looking over my shoulder. I'm, I'm sort of hoping that once we return it, they'll say, Oh no, you should use it in your fight the against the vampires. The and I shall say, Yes, I shall do so. I shall place it on a display in a museum, which will deter them from visiting museums. Which is really going to be a vicious blow against vampires, because I'm sure they love visiting museums. It's sort of like, you know, a look back at things they probably experienced. So, I see that as doing my part. I do want to go and sort that out, but I want to go back to Winterhold even more and go along to Septimus and give him this blood. Partly because I don't want to carry blood around with me, but mostly because I want to see what's in that box. Still have some sunlight, and let's put the cloak on. Hopefully, we can get this sorted out before night falls and be back at the college for a well-deserved night's rest. Oh, yes, I forgot how dark it was in here. I think I will just remember where on earth I put the torch bug lantern. Yes. Ah, excellent.
I mean, I know it's sort of like when when talking to a wizard, it would be good to use candlelight, but it always runs out before the conversation does. I should probably look into that when we're when we're when we're back at the um, college. I, I'm gonna know your lost look into making that last a little longer. Okay. Hello. When the top level was built, eh? no more could be placed. It was and is the maximal apex. I am so going to be happy when these conversations are over. I've brought all the blood you require. I can almost hear them. I feel their life energy. Come, I will make the mixture. Okay. Cold like this saps the strength. Oh, maybe I should show you how to uh, dress up warmly. What did you just do? He just injected himself with... Okay, well, it worked. Whoa. It, it's not a box. It's... Don't let him get ahead. What is this? It's... It's just a book. I can see. The world beyond burns in my mind. It's marvelous. It... Okay. What? What? Okay. I... Essence extra... Do I want the essence ex... I mean, I was thinking well, that maybe it's time to, um, you know, say goodbye to our friend here, but apparently someone or something else, he didn't reach for the book, did he? Did he reach for the book and that's what happened? I sort of feel not. I also feel like there is no way in Tamriel that I'm not taking that with me. That is an expensive looking and r ugly book. Okay, I'm. Uh, okay, that it's very pretty. Okay, we got a book. Got to admit, what? I was about to say, little bit of an anticlimax. Now I'm wishing. It had been. Hi, why are the three of you now? Come, my champion. No, I, I'm good right here. I'm just. Ri <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, I'm not your champion. No, no, uh, yeah, no, what, what? Now, you have my Agma Infinium. It contains the knowledge of the ages as revealed to Sarsis. My loyal servant. That's very For hundreds nice. of years, it's been shut away from the world. Septimus was a useful tool for unleashing it. Wait, you, you, the, the now, tentacle again. it Just, is in no, that one. your hands. Let us work wonders together. Um... Work wonders? You're saying it contains knowledge. Maybe I should read it? I'm not gonna, like, spontaneously turn into a pile of ash if I do so, am I? Yeah. I'm not totally sure how to take this either. I'm pretty sure Septimus is not going to mind if I steal his stuff at this point. I've been looking for you. Oh. Got something I'm supposed to deliver. Your hands only. 
Let's see. What would that Looks be? Like that's it. Got to go. A note from Calcino of Markov. I was going to say, it can't be the notification for the crossbow, because I've already got that notification. Which does remind me, and I'm kind of glad you brought me that note. I probably would have forgotten to pick the crossbow up. So, you know, thank you for the reminder, but what, why would Calcimo be sending me a note? We'll find out once we get somewhere nice and warm and with a seat. Yeah, I can master alteration a little more. That should make the, uh, the lights last a little longer, although probably not long enough for my liking. Okay, let's read these books at my desk. <laughs> yes, I do like this. Um, okay, the first thing we got was a note. I picked up quite a lot of things as well. Where was the note? It was a note from Calcimo. There we go, a note from Calcimo of Markov. <laughs> Leonard, thank you again for your assistance in Njunzel. Your efforts have afforded us the opportunity to resume the excavations once again. During my ongoing work translating the Falma Tong, I have come across references to several important snow elven artifacts. If they still exist, they could have great historical and magical significance. My team has quite unexpectedly recovered several caches of ancient Falmer artifacts while working in Nuchuanzel. The discovery of these ancient Falmer caches gives me hope that the Dwemer may also may have also held on to snow elven artifacts of importance rather than having melted them down for scrap, as was previously assumed. Since you handled the Nichuanzel situation so deftly, I would like to discuss with you the possibility of seeking out some of those items. Thank you in advance for your attention, Calcimo. Yes. Absolutely, definitely, yes, 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 I probably should. Yeah, yeah, I've got so many distractions. I mean, I'm supposed to be going off and meeting Serana and getting that other Elder Scroll, which probably should have some sort of priority over the other artifacts, although probably not the artifacts that may help us against the vampires. I'm, I'm thinking the Dawn Guard artifacts and the explodey crossbow things, they probably... Snow Elven artifacts. Oh, we have so absolutely, definitely got to go and talk to Calcimo the next time we go to Markarth, and I will unfortunately be constantly looking for excuses to go to Markarth. Right, and the other thing... Apparently, the Ogma Infinium has, well, some knowledge to impart. Whoa! Do not read. The Ogma, the sea of knowledge at my fingertips. At last, which section shall I read? The path of might, the path of shadow, the path of magic. For some odd reason, I feel this could be one of those important choices. The Path of Might, not interested. The Path of Shadow. What knowledge could this book impart to me? I have more or less mastered the art of stealth. I am a master of the shadow. All things considered, especially considering where I'm sat, perhaps I should learn a little more of the path of magic. Yeah. Magic is turning out to be more useful than I had imagined. Mostly to keep me warm and dry and able to see. But hey, useful magic is useful magic and yeah. Path of might. No. Okay. Let's see what knowledge I can gain. Perhaps I will gain some knowledge that will impress the other members of the college and they will uh, stop giving me those little looks through the corner of their eyes. Wow. 
Okay. What do you mean it's lost? What do you mean it's lost? No. I better be able to make a replica of this. Just keep an image of that book in your head. Okay, now let's focus on the plus. Let's focus on the 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 the, the positive side of things here. I I I have knowledge whizzing around my head about magic. That's a good thing. I lost the book. I lost the book. This better not get me in trouble with the Daedric Prince. I can tell you that for nothing. If he comes to us. Hello, I have come once again to see the book. And I have to go, well, I'm sorry, but I read it and it went poof. He might. Well, he's the god of knowledge, right? He should have known that was going to. Oh, God. Let's go and pick up my crossbow. What's a golden quill, and why is one lying on the floor in the library? Just... What are you doing? Shh, I'm just accidentally kicking along this quill. I'm, I'm, it's, it's just following me. It's at my feet. It's following me. I have no idea what it's for, okay? I have no idea what it's for, and, uh... So nice to have pleasant company for a change. Finis! Not the man I want to speak to. Yes, my friend. I'm just wondering how you're feeling, because I'm actually getting chilly. Many lives were lost here. I wonder if we will ever know what really happened. Okay, your thoughts are a little deeper than mine. That's... that's... Yeah. No, I'm just thinking to myself, you know, like, having breakfast up here is very cool. And I didn't mean that as a pun. But it is, it's very cool. It's... You have an amazing view of... Pretty much nothing. Well, actually, you've got an amazing view this side as well of... Okay, now that's, that's, that's a big range of mountains and a, and a giant statue. It is a pretty... Well, yeah, we can see pretty far. It is phenomenal, it's very cool, but it is bloody cold up here. I'm wondering if I could get the, uh, the, the, the staff to install some sort of shelter, some kind of... Roof, perhaps a little... I mean, I could put a campfire up here, I guess, which would keep us a little bit warm. But that just feels very unmagey, you know? And I wouldn't want to be unmagey, seeing as I am the Archmage. All right, I tell you what, let's get on with it. We've got to get to Riften now. I mean, look, I see the advantage of leaving your horse there, you know, it would be a little quicker to, you know, mount up, but you also have to ride across this bit on horseback. Oh, you look cold. You look seriously, seriously cold right about now. Um... Yeah, I should definitely teach you some tricks. Me being an expert on... The oh, my God. Shh. Yeah. All right. Okay, let's just, just, just get on our way. One of the things I noticed when we were at the museum last time is we're missing an iron lunar axe. We've got all of the other lunar weapons. Now, we did discover the Lunar Forge near to Whiterun. And I've got all of the Lunar weapons for the, for, for the museum, except that one. Lunar Iron Axe. I 
And now that I know that that's missing, it is bothering me. Bothering me quite a lot, actually. Yes. Still just a tiny bit paranoid of that. Right, first things first, let's go and talk. I don't know what he's talking about. He must be seeing things. I'm watching you, Grand Captain. We should talk to... You got that? Whatever you say. Do you think that's true? Do you think she is selling arms to us? That might explain something. Perhaps... Got a pretty full stock of potions and alchemy reagents. That's nice. I... Hi. I was... Elgrim, really looking honey, for your assistant. I'm concerned about your new pupil. She seems very... odd. Edgar? She's brilliant. A natural. Oh dear, I didn't mean to say she isn't bright. It's the things she makes here. The, the things she says and... All those poor little animals she tests them on. It's just not right. right. Damn it, woman. Ingen is the most promising alchemist I've ever seen, and I won't have you scaring her off. Um. Hi. Hafjorg. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? Uh, no, no. Be careful. The road to Shore's Stone could be dangerous. Uh, not anymore, actually. It's, it's been cleared up. I, I keep meaning to do it. It's something we agreed to do a long time ago. It would seem we're not the only ones that have noticed certain characteristics in Miss Blackbriar. I'm wondering if she's home. Home was over there, I believe. Grelka is probably hiding inside from the snow. Either in one of the shops or in the uh, the bar. We, we'll, we'll go and talk to her in a little while. Black Briar Manor. Hello? It's just... It's just us. Thane Leonard, and who's forgotten to put his torch bug. Hello, it's us. We're friends. I'm I'm actually here to see Ignan. Okay. Oh no, I did, did not mean to. Okay, what the hell? Alright, we're probably not supposed to be wandering around the Blackbriar Mansion and certainly not supposed to be trampling on the flowers. Hello, the front door was open. We're not. Okay, where the hell is everyone? And does this seem remarkably e No, I, I know. But there's no one here. They're never going to know we came in. Just, 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 we're, we're fine. What's she going to do? Contact the... Cool. Hi. Ignan. Okay. Well... I have a feeling she's not going to mention this. Any luck gathering those ingredients? Yes. Hmm? Uh, sorry, just thinking about my experiments. Oh, yes, yes. Nice, pleasant thought. I have Death Bell for you. Good. My experiments are at a critical stage, and these are just what I need to finish. Here's some coin for all the trouble. And I have Nernroot for you. 
Ah, yes, excellent samples. Thank you. This coin should compensate you for all the bother. Oh, it was no bother. No, no, no bother whatsoever. No coin is actually needed. I mean, I'll accept it if you insist, but I have nightshade for you. Perfect. This is just what I needed. Here's some gold for your time. So that was the, uh, the, the last of the ingredients that uh, you needed to replace the ones you damaged. And I suspect you didn't actually need them to replace, did you? Yes. Master Elgrim will be pleased I've restored his oh, yeah. stock of these rare ingredients. Oh, yeah, yeah. I feel I owe you a bit more than some meaningless coin for all your diligence. Here. This key unlocks my supply chest at Elgrim's Elixirs. Feel free to take what you need from time to time. I'll be refilling it once every few days or so. Okay, that is... That is interesting. Thank Good you. Good talking to you. Yeah, yeah. Good talking to you too. Is that it? Or are we suddenly going to find out if Riften gets poisoned? in the next few days. I'm very, very curious as to what we may have just unleashed. I mean, I wasn't really expecting her to turn around and say, <laughs> now my plan can go forward and I shall. And then, you know, explain her dastardly plan. But I'm kind of busy. I was sort of if hoping you need any potions or she would. ingredients. Let me know. Out of curiosity, I'm just you here for lessons like Ingen. Or did you wish to buy something? Do you work alone? Hardly. In fact, I don't know how I get anything done with all the distractions I have to put up with. My wife, Half York, well, she's a necessary evil, I suppose. Okay. Look at talent when it comes to alchemy, but. She keeps me fed. Oh, well, that's then there's all the matters, really. Briar, bright young thing and a worthy apprentice. When she isn't wasting my rare ingredients. You don't happen to know what she's wasting them on, then, do you? Yes, yes, goodbye. Have you managed to make it out to Shore's Stone? No, I literally uh, sure. just left a few minutes Where ago. Where did you put it, woman? Uh. What is it now, dear? Oh, don't you dear me. I have okay. all the vampire dust. Deadly aversion to frost. Not. Elixir of the Berserker, Elixir of True Shot, Potion of Healing, Vigorous Healing. Okay, these are all very so useful and everything, not but. An hour ago, and after you swept in there, it's gone. Oh, my. Elbrum, it's on the shelf to the right of the table, as always. I see. Well, to the just right. be careful around my things. Let's remember that. You know, if we... Oh, good grief. Those shelves looked pretty empty, so I'm... I'm... Yeah! Okay, I'm just... I'm not 100% sure what is going on. On. She wanted the ingredients to replace them. And maybe that was actually true. But she's doing something. She's experimenting on poor little animals. She's up to no good. And I've got absolutely no problem with that. I just want to know what it is. It's it's more of a professional curiosity than anything else. You know, I mean, I'm not saying I, I have to be the only alchemist running around poisoning things. But if there's someone else doing the same thing, I mean, we, we could talk. We could swap secret. We could start a society. You know, the Society of Poisoners. There you go. 
it's back. Yeah? No one needs to know. Still think the Society of Poisoners was a good idea, though. Arkay's been watching over me for years now. He says he's not too sure about you yet, though. Right, I've retrieved the Dawn Guard Rune Hammer from Orothain. Well done. I said you'd return victorious. Arkay wasn't so sure. Wield it bravely. So I get to keep it? Okay, I get to keep it. Um, what do you mean RK wasn't so sure? Are you saying you have better judgment than RK? What can I do to help? Are there any other? Speak with Gunmar. He has something for you. Okay, will do, will do, will do. Uh, speak with Gunmar. Uh, before I do that, Serene! Hope you're getting along with Isran. It takes some getting used to. Yes, I'm back from Nijanzel with the Dwemer Exploding Shock Bolt Schematic. Back already? Can't wait. Already? Let's see. Okay. Ooh, this diagram explains how to fashion a bolt that will send a jolt of shock through whatever it hits. See, normally people complain that I took too long or I'm taking too much time. To Here, let me show you how this works. Steel Helmet of Pounding. Soon. See, have you any idea, I mean, any idea how much smirking is going to happen because of that helmet? 